Let's change the permissions of a shared folder in a Windows Server 2022 Active Directory folder. So here we have the shared folder. And what I want to do is I want to right click on it and go to properties and choose sharing. So under sharing, uh, let's just choose advanced sharing as an example. Click on permissions. We can see all domain users have full access and that's fine. You can typically do this to all of your shared folders and that's because when it comes to the effective access, it's going to look at sharing and security and it's going to choose the most restrictive of the two. So if you give full access to sharing, all you have to do is restrict it on the security tab and that's what the user will get. All right, so I see that's under the security tab that users under my domain users have a lot of rights. So I'll click on my domain users. Let's say that we're going to remove the modify version and click apply. So now domain users will only have the ability to read and list the files. And I'm also going to uncheck write as well. So that way they can just read and list the files. I'll click apply and now they just have the read and list access. I'm going to click and add in my account and we can see that it's looking to the domain. If you only see the name of, of the computer, that means it's not looking at the domain, it's just looking at the computer. So if you have a standalone server, that would be fine. But if you have a domain server, you're going to want to see that domain. Otherwise, you want to click on locations and make sure you can see the uh, Active Directory domain in that list. So now I'll click OK. And let's say that I would like to have the modify rights. So what's going to happen is if any user logs in that's not the administrator and not me, they're only going to have read-only rights. But if I log in, I'm going to have the modify rights. And if the administrator logs in, they're going to have full access. You can see full access and it is uh, full control. It's grayed out because it doesn't want you to change that. And I'll click apply and OK. And I've now just modified my permissions on a Windows folder in Active Directory using Windows Server 2022.